it's your boy Fiero Boy. The Sis coming back with a brand new video for y'all. I am so sorry, y'all. I have not been posting the last two and a half weeks. Now I'm explaining to you the reason why it's been so much going on. Um, if you have not seen my last video, pretty much what was going on was um, you know, um, me getting my car back to Dallas. If you're not following me on YouTube, TikTok, or Snapchat, please do so at Fierroboy underscore 86. Also, please follow me on Instagram at 214Fierro. Um, yeah, y'all, like I'm saying, um, it's just been so much going on that I'm so sorry I have not been posting. I am going to get back posting with, within the next two to three days of me posting a video i'm gonna try and see if i can get back to that three day span where i can post for y'all you know car shows talking about fierros talking about corvairs things like that so in today's video basically i'm just going to talk about why you should mod your fiero um you know from engine to callovers to brakes to um lightning as far as you driving at nighttime, stuff like that. Um, pretty much, I'm just gonna start off with one, which is the engine. The reason why you should mod your Fiero is because you want for it to be much more powerful. So, in a normal state of a Fiero, you only got two engines. You, you either have a 2.5 Earn Do engine, or you have a 2.8 fuel injected V6 engine, okay? And so with those in the V4 or the four cylinder, you only get 95 horsepower. So if we're looking at 95 horsepower, that's not fast at all. That's a, uh, 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 and that right there is basically just like an old car that's been sitting in the field type stuff. As far as 95 horsepower, you know what I'm saying? So that's so basically like a Fiat or something, something like that. But a Fiero is much more powerful though. So, uh, and then with the 2.8s, which is the ones that I like, the fuel injected, which I've already had one already. If you have not seen none of my videos of my Fiero, um, please go back and check those videos out. Um, as what I'm saying, the 2.8 is a fuel injected and it's a V6. So you're gonna at least get about 150 horsepower out of that engine. Now, the reason why you should mod your Fiero is because you want that power. So, you know, you have different mods to use in this Fiero. So when you're talking about using mods, that right there is basically like, that right there is almost like you swapping out an engine for a a uh, 1990 Chevrolet C1500. Now, the reason why I'm using that is because I actually had one of those. And so I can kind of compare the Fiero to that because it's the same, you know, same make as a GM, things like that. So when you think about it, the reason why we do those type of things to the Fiero or even to the Corvair is because we want that power. We want the car to go faster. We want that, ugh, you know what I'm saying? We want that muscle out the car. And so, like your top five engines that people usually use in a Fiero is a LS4. The LS4, you'll probably get about 455, 500, depending on, you know, what mods you use with the, you know what I'm saying, with the engine. The, um, like the Grand Peak motor, which is going to be a V6. We're going to be looking at a, um, like that right there. You can use a twin turbo from a BW, I mean, from, from, from a BMW, which a lot of folks have done. Uh, you can use one of those. You'll probably get about 550, 600 horsepower out of that one. Um, with the V6 from the Grand Prix or the, or the, um, or like the, the Impalas, things like that, you'll probably get about 350 to about 400, 415, somewhere in that area of horsepower. You know, um, like other engines that, that you can use. You can also use bigger LSs, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like the 6.0s, 
things like that. You can use that. You'll probably get about five, five fifty, six hundred, six fifteen, something like that out of it. And then also too, you also got other mods of engines that you can use with the Fiero as well. So you don't always got to use the basic ones that everybody else use. You can use other engines too. You know what I'm saying? Like you see a few people using Nissan engines. You see a few people using um, using old Toyota engines, stuff like that, because they know it's going to fit in there. You know what I'm saying? All right. And so now we're going to go over to the callovers. Now with callovers, the thing is about the Fiero callovers is it depends on how you take care of your or your Fiero. Now you got people out here that leave their Fieros in in fields for years and don't even touch them and things like that. And then uh, eventually a person come by and buy it. That means that they're gonna have to replace all of that stuff up under there, everything from coilovers to brakes to to brake pads to master cylinder to brake lines stuff like that. Well. A lot of us has been getting smart in using Corvette coilovers. Now, you probably have to do some work to the car, but that right there is a really good investment for the Fiero, using coilovers, using those specific coilovers. Because, like, one simple fact about that is when you, when you get ready to use those coilovers, it don't just help with the weight distribution, it also lasts longer. If, if you know what I'm saying, it lasts a lot longer as far as a car load. You know what I'm saying? Just like with your shocks. It's better to use Corvette shocks because those last longer. Those are heavy duty. Now, we do have heavy duty shocks in the Fiero world, but as far as shocks for other cars, we can use Corvette shocks. And now we're going to end up talking about braking power. Now, back to me comparing the Fiero to a C1500. They got a few things in common. Now, one of the biggest things in common, which GM decided to do, is make a big brake kit for the front. So what that right there means is that your brakes are instantly locking up when you're ready to hit your brakes. So it ain't gonna be like, okay, well, I ain't gonna get no stopping power if I'm in the rain. I ain't gonna get no stopping power if I'm in the snow. I ain't gonna get no stopping power if I'm on water. You know what I'm saying? Just rolling up some water from a from a fire hydrant or anything. You ain't gonna get no stop power. Well, the thing is about the Fiero, believe it or not, regular brakes from a Fiero works just fine. You know what I'm saying? That's probably one of your safer cars if you're talking about driving in the rain, talking about driving in the snow. That's one of your safer cars to actually drive back in the day because those brakes are really, really good. But if you're talking about racing, if you're talking about street racing, if you're talking about uh, um, like, um, what you call that thing? Um, autocross or anything like that, a big brake kit would actually be helpful to use in those situations. You know what I'm saying? Because it ain't, it ain't the thing of the Fiero being old and so it ain't gonna stop. No, it ain't got nothing to do with it. It's just that it's a much more safer technique to use on there. You see what I'm saying? To where you will be able to bring your Fiero up to par, be able to stop at the line, be able to do this, be able to do that. So definitely look into a big brake kit for your Fiero because they do have them. Just like they have for the C1500, they have from all the other GM cars from back in the day. They do have those. Also, the last thing is lightning. Now, with the lightning for the Fiero, me personally, I want my lights to be bright. Now, if y'all have not seen my video of me changing my original lights to LEDs, please go back and watch that video. Because that right there is a very helpful video. You know, I'm showing y'all step by step. I ain't showing y'all every step, but I'm showing y'all step by step on how to take the lights out. You know, uh, how to how to change things as far as wiring harnesses and stuff like that. Please go back and watch that video. Also, share that video. Please do that right there for me. Now, um, as far as lightning, now 
technology has taken over for the Fiero. So you ain't just gonna have to change it to LEDs. You actually got a kit that you can actually buy to where LEDs is already there. And so what that right there means is that your light is gonna end up being brighter like a brand new car, or your light is gonna end up being better than a brand new car. You know, um, I know I had seen this kit. Um, I know I had seen this kit like about two weeks ago and I did like it, you know, and I'm really on consider on buying it for my great Fiero, the one I just bought. I wanted to do the conversion on my red one, but I'm really thinking about doing this conversion. Maybe, I'm really thinking about it, you know, uh, or maybe I'm just thinking about going back to the original LEDs, the ones I actually had in first, since that right there is a little bit more of an easier mod. And since anybody can do it, you know, as far as changing their headlights out, because like with me, I want to be able to see at nighttime. And the bright lights was wonderful, y'all. When I say wonderful, I'm actually able to see 180 degrees versus me only being able to see 30 degrees. See, on the original Fiero light, I'm only seeing 30 degrees. I'm not seeing a whole 180. You know what I'm saying? So I'm actually seeing people coming out from the street to the stop sign or to the stoplight before they even get there. And now with the original Fiero lights, I was not doing it. I was only seeing what was in front of me. I'm not seeing on the sides or anything, or just like even on the freeway. It actually helps me see a lot better if something is in a road so I won't run it over. Versus the original lights, I'm running over everything that's in the road. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, I'm running over everything. And I mean everything. You know what I'm saying? And so, most definitely. Well, it's your boy, Fierro Boy 86 Please like, comment, subscribe, and share on this video. Please let me know what you think about this video. Please let me know if you think I should make more of these videos. Please, please, please share this video with everybody. Because you already know it's your boy, Fierro Boy 86 you know what I'm saying? And so I'm going to keep the Fieros alive. I'm going to keep the Corvairs alive. And you already know I'm going to be at car shows with them. So most definitely, you know what I'm saying? Especially Fieros. But I'm going to be at car shows with these Fieros. You know what I'm saying? And so most definitely, where's well, your boy, Fierro Boy 86? How we do it? Oh, it's a bird. Oh, no, it's a plane. Oh, no. It's your boy, Fierro Boy 86 with a new Fierro. Let's get it.